Hello, Chris here. It's March 21st, uh, 2020. It's been a crazy week, and it's been saying that a lot in a lot of the videos lately because it's been a crazy time. Uh, so this week I want to report on COVID in Alaska, where we're at, what we know. I think as of today, there have been 14 reported cases in Alaska, uh, handful in Fairbanks, handful in Ketchikan, and some in Anchorage as well. Um, it's Anchorage is in South Central, that's where I live. Uh, so, you know, what we know is that I think three other states have put uh, stay in place policies uh, for the general population. Uh, so, so essentially don't leave your house if you don't have to. Alaska is strongly advising of that. I think the municipality of Anchorage has a stay at home or shelter in place policy in effect. You know, and I think the exemptions for those are what you'd expect, right? Uh, infrastructure, uh, emergency support staff, folks that are working critical types of occupations have a waiver for that. Uh, I think uh, obviously it's a little more serious now than it was just uh, a few weeks ago. I think here in Alaska, schools, or at least my kids' school here in the Matsu district, will be closed through May now. So I'm looking at my kid being around <laughs> in the house at home uh, for another six weeks, potentially, maybe even longer. I myself am in a work from home status, so I'm very thankful to work for an organization that allows us to work from home. and. Also very thankful to work for the organization that I uh, work for simply because they did, we did a lot of planning. So even while this wasn't uh, as big of a deal as it is today, there was we had a response team that was in place and beginning to plan. And sure enough, it turned out that we had to execute the plan. So we were pretty well prepared. So kudos to my employer for all of that effort. Now, um, you know, for me personally, I'm working from home, so I'm set up. Uh, my, my wife will start working from home on Monday, so we will have a house full of people all day long. That will be interesting to see how that works out. I will say, I think uh, it was, it's easy to give into panic a little bit. I, I visited some of the shelves, so I have video from some local stores that I took as I was walking through the aisles. The, the stores clearly weren't bare, but there were some aisles that, uh, that definitely were, it was shocking to see rows and aisles of shelves with no food on them. I think some stores did a better job of backfilling quickly, shelving um, with other stuff so that everything appeared to be full, but there were clearly some uh, scarcity with some types of foods, uh, flour, rice, beans, those standard staples that you never really think much about. The shelves were uh, bare of those types of things. But I, I noticed the meat shelves, the meat coolers were still had quite a lot of food there. Um, you know, there was no shortage of bread in many places. So I'll, we'll walk through some of these, the video of local stores that I have. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, it's getting a little more serious. I think, uh, you know, obviously the intention is to flatten the curve, so to speak, so that we can, uh, you know, avoid overwhelming the health systems with a lot of simultaneous uh, individuals requiring uh, some kind of a, acute patient care. But uh, thanks for checking out. Let's check out some of the videos of the stores and see what some of the shelves in Alaskan stores look like this week. So here we have a canned food aisle at the one of our Anchorage Walmarts. And uh, what's interesting, you can kind of see the, the yellow boxes in the center of the picture there. That's, a, that's Velveeta cheese, right? So when it comes right down to it, the last thing you're going to be reaching for at the end of the world is Velveeta cheese, apparently. Right, just according to shopper uh, preference. This aisle here is also another canned food aisle at Walmart in Anchorage. Uh, and you can see I'm in the, in the foreground here, we got uh, the, the tuna fish section, right? So most of the aisle was empty until you get to the tuna fish and other types of seafood, canned seafood. You can see it wasn't completely bare. So uh, there was still still some things to be bought if that's what you were looking for. And this is actually the emergency preparations aisle in uh, Walmart. And generally, there's just a wide assortment of dehydrated uh, canned goods that are available here. But if you um, you can see, there's 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 a collection of cans on the shelf, and it's all uh, broccoli with cheese, right? So if there was one thing that either customers had no taste for, or that was the last box in in the back, and they brought it out. 
uh, that was all you had to choose from for your emergency supplies. Here you can see we're looking at the meat section in Walmart and it's not completely empty. Uh, so the shelves here were fairly bare, but when you turn around and looked at the uh, the kind of the center aisle stands, they had quite a lot of frozen meat that had already been packaged and was available. Here we're venturing into my section, right? the carbs and the sugar. So there was no shortage of uh, goodies on hand at Walmart in Anchorage. And so yeah, if you're looking to stock up on treats, they were there was no end of them. You can see donuts pastries, rolls, the bread aisle was full, uh, no shortages of bread at the Anchorage Walmart that I was at. And here we have the produce section in the same Walmart and it was, uh, it was uh, you know, there were some empty bins but they had quite a lot of produce. I was surprised, pineapples, a lot of citrus, uh, no shortage, lots of berries, um, obviously stuff that will stay in the fridge or you could even freeze and store for later. but. Uh, quite a lot. And then this is the final store pick that I got. And this is from a Fred Meyer here in Wasilla. And this was specifically looking at the pasta aisle. And, and I love pasta. So I was, uh, I was heartbroken to see how empty the shelves were. Uh, they were wiped out of most pasta sauces. The stuff that you see on the shelf there, if it's pasta sauce, it was gourmet pasta sauce. They were selling for over $10 a jar, which is why they're still there. Uh, but there was no pasta on the shelves. Uh, there was no canned tomatoes on the shelves. You did, if you snuck over to the organic section or the whole food section, there was some actually some pretty uh, inexpensive uh, tomatoes still available there. So I was able to get uh, some tomatoes, even though I didn't really even need any. I admit I succumbed a little bit to, to buying just because I felt like I should. Uh, but this was the Walmart and Fred Meyer on their pasta aisle. So those are some of the retail stores in Anchorage, Alaska. I think uh, you know, we, other, other stores will look similar. Um, I heard one of the local shops that's nearby looked, had empty shelves. I was at Costco a couple times uh, throughout the week. Uh, and it was, uh, they did a great job of keeping the shelves full. So even though they didn't have things like rice and flour where those items would have been, there were other things there. So at no point did the shelves look bare in Costco, look like they were full as always. And so they did a great job of uh, replenishing the shelves, keeping things looking normal. <clears throat> I did, I know when I was at Costco, they had a, they were rationing toilet paper, uh, cases of toilet paper and also milk. Um, you know, one, two, two milk container uh, per person and the same with the toilet paper roll so one case per person uh, but otherwise the the shelves had a lot of had a lot of uh, food items and then there was no shortages that would keep anybody um, from getting something if they wanted it I think the toilet paper shortage is a little uh, well I think it's a little bit overreacting a little panic I asked my kid what would you do if you didn't have any toilet paper and her brilliant response was, I would get in the shower, right? So hey, if you find yourself with no toilet paper handy, uh, how about just get in the shower, right? And I think that'll work for you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I'll uh, give it up another update, maybe in a couple days or at least next week. And uh, so take care, uh, be safe, and uh, we'll see you next time.